These sides fought out some terrific battles last season. That trend continued on Friday night. The home side with the best of the early chances. Chris Forrester heading Conan Burns cross narrowly wide. Drogheda then looked to have a legitimate claim for a penalty waved away when Ian Birmingham appeared to hold back Declan O'Brien. It may just have been enough to prevent O'Brien scoring. It remained scoreless at half-time, but St. Pat's had the better of the exchanges in the second half and very nearly took the lead as Christy Fagan saw his cross-goal shot deflected away for a corner by drugs keeper Gabriel Sava. From the corner, St. Pat's took the lead. The visitors failed to clear their lines and substitute Shane McFall stabbed home what proved to be the only goal of the night. Try as they might, Drogheda United, the surprise package of last season, couldn't fashion equaliser in the last few minutes of the game. So a winning start for the season for St. Patrick's Athletic, who ran out 1-0 winners. I'm delighted with the performance, I'm delighted with the results. Uh, bearing in mind the pitch is quite heavy. I thought the lads played very, very well in the first half. Second half was probably 50-50, but um, overall it's how we probably deserved our victory. I'm obviously disappointed with the results to lose your first game, but I don't think the performance was what we have been produced in the Atlanta Cup. But obviously coming to Richmond Park, we knew it was going to be a different kettle of fish. And obviously we didn't respond to the efforts that Pat's put up. And uh, I just felt we let ourselves down on the night. The players are very disappointed with the performance and uh, like credit to Pat's for what he did.